The room is relationships. The room is you and me and everyone in America. What are you talking about? Uh, the room is different cookie cutter、mm-hmm. from Hollywood. Yeah, man, you never know. People are very strange these days. What's going on? Welcome to the Room Minute, the podcast where we get obsessed with the cinematic classic, The Room, one minute at a time. Yeah, you have no idea what kind of trouble you're in here, do you? Why are you so hysterical? We always wanted people actually talk about it. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh hi, Mark. Oh hi, Allison. Oh hi, Robert. Oh hi, listeners. We're here to talk about minute ten. Uh, in which, because we didn't see Johnny's ass enough last minute, Johnny wakes up and walks to the bathroom naked before leaving for work. Who wants to?、Uh... Oh hi, Robert. How's your sex life? Oh hi, Alex. It sucks. I'm a divorced parent and an adjunct professor. I have no time for that. Ah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I didn't expect an accent immediately. <laughs> Now I'm off. Oh hi, Alice. Oh hi. <laughs> um. Now this was originally the first scene of the script. Does anyone here know what the first line is supposed to be? Does it start with "Oh hi"? No, no, no. Is it "Oh hi, Mark"? And then Mark walks in. No, no. This. <laughs> 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 no, it, it, the scene was be- essentially like this: with the "Did you like last night?" Like him getting up out of bed was supposed to be the start of the film. But before his line, Lisa says, "I am not a slave here, am I?" What? Which is a really weird way to start a script. Yeah. And then we get the scene basically as it is here, except、uh, he asks for coffee, and she gets out of bed to make it for him, and he yells at her because she asks what time he has to be there, and he says, "I told you many times, nine thirty. I have my promotion to think about." And she gets upset, says, "Promotion, promotion. That's all I hear about. Here's your coffee and English muffin, and burn your mouth." Right away, I'm calling shenanigans on that. No banker's day starts at nine thirty. <laughs> I think she meant that. I don't think that was even in the script. Just like, please, please burn your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he refers to his boss as old man donkey. <laughs> I don't know. And his sidekick, old man Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> It's like he was trying to call him an ass, and he was just like old man ass. Like. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't translate right. Yeah. <laughs> that really feels. There are parts of this script in general where it really feels like Tommy Wiseau wrote it in whatever language he originally speaks. I guess Polish, maybe we think. Probably Polish. And then it just like ran it through a free translation service. That that's one of those. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he called him an ass in Polish, and it it just Google <laughs> Translate turned it into donkey. Made him sound like a like a little little kid who's just like, yeah, I I know how to swear now. <laughs> I can swear. You can, can ask、swear. yourself in the shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What state does Tommy say that he's from? He says he's from New Orleans. Although yeah, he's he has admitted that he's not originally from New Orleans, but that's what he usually answers. He's from a state of confusion. Oh my god! <laughs> stop reading my mind. <laughs> what language do they speak in New Orleans? Um, English, English, Chick- English chicken. <laughs> Um, Creole. Cheap, 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 cheap. That's、yeah. right. Yeah, some of the lines in this minute seem like they were put in in post production.、Mm-hmm. There are some moments where you can't even see their mouth moving, but their mouth sort of like covered. Well, so they have to overdub every line he spoke. I think a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Even though that didn't get them be- clearer <laughs> lines, but it did get them better recordings. Yeah, it's just the way he talks. Yeah, like a constant cue card behind them at all times. Yeah, well, it, on set, supposedly, according to Sandy Schlaer, credited just as script supervisor,、mm-hmm. they only had three pages of script at a time, so there wasn't a lot of memorizing going on long term. It was like, here's the scene we're doing today, or scenes we're doing today, and then in the middle of the day, they'd add other scenes. Yeah, script supervisor just meant she had the script next to her on a stool, and she would just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, Sandy, Sandy was building a script piece by piece, yeah, and yeah. so at the end of shooting, they were basically 
I think he said three complete scripts. Tommy's, his, and Greg had one, I believe is the other one. Hmm. Because Greg had gotten to read some before they started filming. There are a lot of things, um, that being one of them, that remind you that this was not only his first time doing it, but it seems like his first time with any experience with the filmmaking process. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, another one that comes to mind, I'm sure you probably mentioned it in the previous minute, is the fact that they just jumped right into the sex scene and like her first minutes on set, this poor woman. And mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> like that's generally a no-no when you do sex scenes. Actually, the, the sex scene itself was filmed at the end, but they did film this and like, so them in bed was right away. Yeah. And like, I'm going to venture a guess he didn't have on, uh, so for those who don't know, usually when you film sex scenes, unless you really absolutely can't shoot around it, people are wearing like flesh colored G strings and things like that. So they're not actually rubbing their genitals on each other. I'm going to guess he was probably actually rubbing his, his junk on her. Because I don't think he would know better. Yeah. Reportedly, he walked around naked on set the entire day when they were filming the sex scenes. Oh, boy. Uh, this this walk to the bathroom was filmed earlier, I believe. So he may have actually been wearing something like that because there would have been someone there to tell him to do so. <laughs> it doesn't seem like he's the type to really take direction, though. No. Oh, no, no. No, as evidence by the fact... If he wants to fact, walk naked, he's walking naked. Yeah, as evidenced by the fact that apparently a lot of the cast tried to improv the lines to be better, and he said something like, yep. read it as written. Uh-huh. Did they have an Arnold impersonation? Is that not... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I could never do it. <laughs> yeah, I can't do voices. Read it as written. No, I... So better than mine. <laughs> so we get to see his bear behind in this minute. Mm-hmm. Again. I mean, that's cute, right? Well, like, it feels wrong not... for him to have well, a nice butt. Well, I mean, you say again. I think, if I remember correctly, I think it, in the previous, in the sex scene, we saw like bits of it because he had most of it covered while he was humping her belly button. Well, I'd say mm-hmm. most of it was uncovered, but we never got to see the whole thing until now. Yeah. Well, if television censorship rules have taught me anything, you're seeing the crack, which is the only part that's apparently naughty. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'm just saying it's it's a that's a good body. Like I was surprised. For a guy who is how old is he at this point? He's like fifty when they f- Yeah, he's like mid forties to mm-hmm. fifty when they film this. So yeah, he's in shape. Yeah. It's definitely the body of an older man, but it's in shape. Yeah, he's no he's no Ryan Reynolds. Although I, now I'm imagining Ryan Reynolds as him and that's an interesting image. <laughs> I don't find Ryan Reynolds that attractive. What? I feel like it's a lot of hype. Stop. Oh my gosh, no. He's he's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> with, with all the flatness of Lisa. Oh no, he's 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 pretty. <laughs> and boy. I, I, although, you know, to be honest, looking at him walking to the bathroom, he he could stand to do some squats. Like the, honestly, though the um, like the rest of his leg muscles are a lot bigger then uh, his his butt's a little flat compared to the rest yeah. of his legs. Yeah, he, he needs to yeah. needs to work on the bubble a little bit. Mm. <laughs> but it's perky, <laughs> perky and flat. That's an interesting combo. <laughs> so should we run through the minute? Oh sure, go ahead. Okay, so you see them holding on to each other in the night. I'm not going to do this as good as Rob. Rob takes you through it like second by second. I'm just sort of playing this on mute. So you see them holding on to each other, and it's nighttime. And then the screen fades to black. They zoom in on the alarm clock. You see him pick it up. He's upset that he has to get up. They're both naked. Can can we see him sit up? Oh, I I had a thought. We need to pause while we're picking up the alarm clock, and it's just frozen at 28. I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that he didn't know how to change the time on this alarm clock. So he had them wait until the alarm clock said something 28 and then put the dress over the part of it that says the hour. And said, we need to film quickly while the time is still 28. (laughs) Why do you think he wanted 28? Uh, Because he had to be there at 30. He's giving himself two minutes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You can sort of see the time when he sets it back down. It is 8.28, so he's got an hour. That's the best he can do in an hour is get a suit on? Come on, bro. It, 
Yes. Is get that suit on. <laughs> also, we talked we talked about him, him being naked. Was she prob- probably naked? Oh, definitely. Or... Her um tits were out in the previous minute. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Well, this shot was probably filmed separately from the sex scene itself, so she may not be completely naked. But yeah, or... like like down there. <laughs> do you think that he let her wear a flesh colored thing, or I can't do the accent? But was he like, no, I'm a method actor? <laughs> Probably like, I'm, a, I'm a Methodist actor. <laughs> I yeah, need, a, I'm a method uh, actor. I, I need, know. I need you naked. Probably. I need to see your flower to, <laughs> to sex, the scene. Um, I, so when he's coming back into the room and he's in his suit and she's kind of twirling the rose, I feel like th- this is a case where I feel like either a really, really smart actor needed to make sure that they've got a unified arc, or a, or a really be- a better director needed to make sure the actor had a unified arc, because here, she seems like she's actually into mm-hmm. the relationship, and as we'll find out in a minute, mm-hmm. she's yeah. not. Like, someone needed to direct... Uh, I, I know it's, it's kind of silly to say someone needed to direct her better in this movie but someone needed to direct her to you know to say that you're not actually into this or or something or was she just into it because it was a thing that he gave her i mean if you put a puppy in front of me and i'm gonna like you <laughs> like kind of to go along with kind of the everything that he can provide for her mm-hmm. like in the, you know in the next minute you know that her her mom was talking about that like oh a rose all right i get a flower i get a thing you know yeah, I think a puppy and a rose are different. Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Puppies don't have thorns, I get it, I get it. <laughs> that rose is dead in a week. He already got her a puppy, it's named Denny. Uh, that's so true, <sighs> so true. <laughs> yeah, it won't stop humping her leg. <laughs> now, in the original version of this scene in the script, uh, when he says, uh, they're talking about their jobs and he says, you sound like we have separate lives. We will be married next month, Lisa. And her line is, yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> and then he thanks her for breakfast and he leaves. And then she calls her mother, which they changed for the film because the scene started with him, her calling her mother and then ended with her mother walking to the door. So it's a little continuity problem they fixed in production. But the yeah, yeah, well does make it sound like it least has scripted she is already having a problem setting up the next scene Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah when she's laying in the bed and smelling the rose maybe it's because he's not back in the room yet i don't know yeah or it's it's part of that duplicitous two-faced nature that she's got is that Mm -hmm. in the moment yeah she can enjoy it but then immediately hate it her low standards (laughs) gift yeah (laughs) yeah i mean Unfortunately, when you're an actor, and I know that um, the actor playing Mark tried to do this a bit with his his backstory in his head of being an undercover cop. When you're an actor who's given material that isn't that consistent, it isn't that good, it is kind of on you to try to find the connective tissue to make it logical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know, like a, a well-written, like a well-written version of this script, it's clear what her through line is. A poorly written version of the script, she is whatever the scene needs her to be. If she needs to be in love with him in this minute, then she's in love with him in this minute. If she needs to hate him, then she hates him. But it's then it's on the actor to sort of track that. And Part of that is it. the scripting also, because we have scenes later where characters in a scene have two different versions of themselves. <laughs> when Denny mm-hmm. talks to... Tommy on the roof, he's like talking about his girlfriend and he's not sure about her and then he's going to marry her, you know, like in the same scene. And Lisa goes back and forth constantly just in the scene with her mother. It's she's saying negative things. It's like, oh, yeah, maybe that'll work. It's So it's mm-hmm. the way he writes these characters. So I think it's a deliberate choice, maybe not done well, but it's it's, it's the scene deliberate on his part. I would I would agree with the word deliberate. I don't know that I would agree with the word choice because I don't know <laughs> I don't know that he is a good enough writer to understand that there is a different way to do it than the way he did it. If that makes any sense that you can think about a character's through line and characters having a trajectory over the course of a script. True. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also really distracted by their candelabra and how None of the can the candles are just so it, it looks almost Tim Burton esque. 
this candelabra at 44 seconds. The Just the candles are all pointing in every different direction, and it really looks like it's an outtake from, like, a, a set pe- a prop from Corpse Bride or something. <laughs> yeah, totally. They're all pointing in different directions. And if they were all that crooked the night before, there would be a mess of wax on that floor, because those were all lit. Yeah. Well, it does, it does suggest, you know what? Fair play to them. They did apparently remember before they fell asleep to put all the candles out. Yay, them. Yay, fire safety. I'm not sure how they did that. Lisa turns off the lamp and all the candles go out. Um, huh. magic? Um, yeah. I'm sure there's a Harry Potter spell that does it. <laughs> yeah, it just puts out, there's a D&D spell that does it, I know that. Accordia Flamboso. Yes, <laughs> that one. My mind likes to do mind association things. Like, so when you said Two-Face, I just got Marilyn Monroe's voice in my head going, if you're Two-Face, at least make one of them pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little struck by the fact that Tommy is going to work to apparently be a banker with his hair looking like this. Come on, dude. Yeah. There's, I would never... That's one thing that is almost universally the case with like bankers and bank tellers, is they always look put together. Mm-hmm. Ignoring the fact that his suit does not fit him very well, his at the very, very least, if you were going to be a man with long hair, it would be tied back, let alone clean. Yeah, you have like a man bun or something, you know. Yeah, or or you could do a man bun or like a ponytail, but you know, n- neat, clean. Yeah. yeah. He looks like Tarzan. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the role he should have um, auditioned for. He looks specifically like the Disney Tarzan. Yeah. Except they just got his hair black instead of brown. Did he go to college for this? Like, I'm looking now, I'm like, he graduated with fi- for finance? Uh, no. <laughs> I can't imagine. Well, this is why he doesn't get his promotion. Yeah, this is, a, this is the least real thing about this movie is, I can't imagine he has a bachelor's no. degree or an MBA. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> What is this running water behind them? Um, I'm, I'm at 50-odd seconds. It's is, is this like a fountain yes. thing he's got in his, his his house in this room? Yeah, in fact, they shot through it for a, uh, part of the sex scene. They had the camera shoot through the water. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure the everyone who was in charge of recording sound loved having running water in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who was recording sound? You mean the one sound yeah. guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sound guy. When they had to ADR most of the dialogue. So, yeah, I'm sure it was fine. Mm-hmm. She does seem in love with him for this minute, so she's a good actress. Oh, well, yeah, that's that's the thing, is either the actress playing Lisa it doesn't have the through line very well, and she can't tell whether or not she's supposed to be in love with him at any point in time, or else... Lisa is a really good actress and and is very pretend and is acting very well like a woman in love. But yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. I was saying the character Lisa is yeah. a very good actress. Yeah, that Lisa is faced little bleep. <laughs> Kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't hate Lisa. Maybe she has like mixed emotions all the time. It's hard for me to hate any of the characters in this movie, other than Johnny, honestly, because. The movie is so clearly, you know, Tommy Wiseau writing essentially, you know, everyone in the movie talks about what a great guy Johnny is. And, you know, it's so clearly a slanted perspective on any events that may have happened that it's hard to, it's hard for me to take that seriously, any portrayal of Lisa, because it's like, you're clearly getting the perspective of the guy who thinks that she jilted him. And who thinks that she is duplicitous. Like, Yeah, that's a good point. Well, you know, it, ma- it matters. He's in this scene. So, yes, in this scene, she's going to seem like she's more in love. Because this is like, this is what he's seeing of her. Huh. Next scene, he's not there. So, it's that, his version of what happens when he's not there. Hmm. Yeah. And it's immediately much more negative. Now, not much happens in this minute. So, any other notes on the content? No. No. I uh, just I got it paused at 51 seconds, and it looks like it's a really creepy shot of him glowering over her. <laughs> <laughs> I do, of course, have notes from a midnight screening. Notes from a midnight screening. The first note for this minute, 
the last minute ended with someone in the audience will say, what time do you set your alarm? And someone will scream out 28 mm. as this minute begins because you don't clearly see what the hour is on that clock. And as Tommy is groaning and taking his time getting out of bed, people will start chanting, show that ass. Because people love to point out when there's fire or water on the scene, when that water feature is shown, someone will scream water. And when Johnny asks, did you like last night? At least someone in the audience will say no. <laughs> nope. And at the, the last screening I went to, someone yelled out, it wasn't as good as pizza. <laughs> They never even got there. They must have had to stop, like, pause their sexy time at some point to go get the pizza, or... Well, the, no, the pizza's late before the later sex. Oh, it's the later sex. Not this Damn one. it. You're right. I, I got the... I know the movie so carefully plotted, it's hard for me to keep the... It, it's such a shame that I can't keep the events straight. Well, that's part of Johnny's <sighs> confusion, is that every, every time he comes home, there's a gift for Lisa. Every time they have sex, it's that same <laughs> sex scene. Because that's how his life is. Yeah. Although it's not the, I'm, I'm just kind of looking at this again, and it's it's not the common like post sex like in the movie pull up the sheets to your chest kind of thing. It's kind of interesting to see that like I don't know to see that like depicted. I guess. Yeah, they're not doing that next morning. Everything's covered. Yeah. The the L shaped uh, bed sheet. Exactly. Yeah. I do find it interesting, though, that the roses are here mm-hmm. when the roses come later. And, and he brought her the dress this time. But they filmed the sex scene with the roses. I'm going to say that these are roses from the unseen day before or the day before that, maybe? Yeah. these are he's, He alternates between roses and dresses, I guess. Uh-huh. These are day-old roses. Constantly giving gifts. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Anything for his princess. Anything <laughs> for my princess. <laughs> I can't do his laugh. Anything for my princess. <laughs> uh, any other notes on minute 10? I found it interesting that she asked if she can get him anything. Yeah. When he's fully dressed in a suit and she's butt naked. Yeah. Like, wouldn't he be asking her? It'd be nice. Oh, well, I guess maybe. No, yeah. No, I thought that was weird, too. Uh but then the original script, she does get up, put on a revealing gown, and goes and makes him an English muffin and coffee. So. I don't know if I'd rather have seen that. <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine. Like, actually, yes. Just get me, whatever, English muffin. Um, okay. <laughs> this version's more efficient. Yeah. We don't have to wait for an English muffin to turn. That's right. Have an extra edit or a kitchen set. Just have it pull, pull it out of her drawer or something. Like, just whatever. <laughs> I have this English muffin in my drawer. <laughs> Toasted English muffins in my drawer. I remade an English muffin. <laughs> she has a bedside toaster. Yeah, for this. <laughs> bedside toaster. He opens up the pillow and, like, opens up the pillow. Like, takes <laughs> off the cover and there's, like, candy and stuff. What's in my pillowcase? Now, before we finish minute 10... The listeners should know who they've been listening to. So our guest today, uh, Alex, do you want to tell them who you are? Uh, yes, I'm Alex Thompson. Uh, when I'm not here, you can hear me on Independence Day Minute. Uh, occasionally hear me on Cleveland and Six going deep into Major League whenever I have the time to edit it. And uh, you can hear me on the full length of Galaxy Quest Minute, all those on podcatchers near you. And Alice. All the A's here today. Um, I'm Alice. It is. I'm Alice Zhabowski, and I, this is actually my first minute podcast, but I do comedy in Rochester, New York. Um, so if you, you know, want to travel, anyone that's listening, you can come see me. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Alice Lauren. Um, but please message me first and tell me where you heard me or my Twitter, Ali Mej, A-L-I-M-E-Z-H. And yeah, just come chat with me. But it's nothing wrong when people make fun of the project, in this case, The Room. The Room Minute is a production of Lemming Drops Studio. You can find more content at lemmingdrops.com. Follow The Room Minute on all the obvious social media. If you've got any stupid comments after the show, you can leave them in your pocket on Facebook. If you like what you hear, throw us a rating and review on your podcatcher of choice. Thank you for listening. And remember, if a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place to live. Leave us! <laughs>